Soul of the age, the applause, delight, the wonder of our stage, our Shakespeare, our Shakespeare, for he is ours, is he not? The most performed playwright of all time, the author of 37 plays, 154 sonnets, and several epic poems that are collectively known as the ultimate expression of humanity in the English language. If you're as much of a fan of Shakespeare as I am, whether it be poring over the massive tome of literary wealth and beauty that he has left behind, going to the theater and watching his works performed on the stage, or delving into a little bit of conspiracy theory about whether or not the man we know as William Shakespeare actually wrote what has been considered the ultimate expression of humanity in the English language, then you're going to want to stick around because today we're diving into the Shakespeare Oracle. Hey Terror Tribe, it's Dustin from A Modern Metaphysic Man, and today I thought we could go through the Shakespeare Oracle. Um, this is done by Brown Llewellyn and Cynthia von Buhler. I hope I'm not butchering that, um, but it is an amazing tarot deck, despite the fact that it says the Oracle. Um, it is a tarot deck in the Tarot de Marseille um fashion and i'm a huge huge fan of shakespeare so i was so excited when i found out about this um fair warning this deck is now out of print however um you can find copies of it floating around the internet and ebay for very reasonable prices um so if you are interested in it you know definitely scoop it up uh sooner than later um but it's a it's a really wonderful deck it's very well thought out, um, and it brings together the ideas of the tarot and um, Shakespeare in a really seamless fashion. So yeah, let's dive in. Um, it comes in this uh, really nice box, and, and I did buy this secondhand, so this I got off of eBay. <clears throat> um, and the box um, has, you know, some wear on it and things like that, but the box is really nice. It's a pretty solid two-piece box you can see on the back here um, there's some examples of the cards um, and a little description um, it does have a nice little cut here to open up and then inside you would find the book and the deck and the deck you kind of have to split into two uh, piles to get it all to fit which is annoying but not the end of the world uh, the guidebook is really nice it's full color um, on the inside you'll find uh, some really cool information because it talks about um, the card, the character from the Shakespearean play that it that the card features, um, and then the divinatory meanings of the card um, itself. So it's really cool. It's really, really well written, and you can really tell that the, the folks that worked on this deck had a great understanding and grasp of the tarot and of um, Shakespeare, which is just it's awesome it's like my two loves in one place so yeah <clears throat> that is uh, the guidebook and it's a nice thick guidebook it's um, let's see. it's 175 pages so um, it's mostly all just about the cards there's a few spreads in the beginning which is um, a little hard to see because it's very light <laughs> lightly printed um, so there are a few and they're they are Shakespeareanly themed which is really cool so there's the midsummer night's romance quandary spread which is really funny <clears throat> excuse me um you know there's a hamlet spread a merchant of venice spread um elizabethan stage spread the wheel of fortune spread uh a, the, the mirror spread from richard the second so yeah it's it's wonderful the cards themselves are just awesome though so um, this is the card back, um, and there's, they're really nice. 
Um, I do plan on edging these in black. You can tell that they've been used, they've been shuffled, you know, there's some scuffies on them, things like that, but that's okay. I like um, used decks. Um, but they're really nicely printed. The cardstock is really nice and thick, which is great. Um, and they're a matte finish, which I just love. So yeah, let's take a dive through the cards. So we have our Fool, and so you'll see at the top for the Majors that they list the traditional tarot name, and at the bottom they have the character that is on <coughs> the card. I love this magician and the fact that it's Shakespeare um, controlling a puppet of Shakespeare, controlling a puppet of Shakespeare, controlling a puppet of Shakespeare, and so on and so on, standing in the world. Um, it's just really wonderful. The paintings in this deck are amazing. Um, they're, they're done in this like classic artistic sense and quality. Um, they're vibrant, they're colorful. I just love them. We have Queen Elizabeth here as the Empress, and of course Henry VIII as the Emperor, her dad. Um, our Hierophant is Humphrey, Duke of Gloucester. Of course, the lover's card has to be Romeo and Juliet. Who else could it be? <laughs> the Chariot, Henry the Seventh. Justice is Portia. And so as you can see, right, the cards have a very traditional um, tarot depiction. Um, and they're perfectly aligned with characters from, um, you know, the first folio of Shakespeare, which is wonderful. Wheel of Fortune, the Fortune Theater. <laughs> Strength. Hangman is Hamlet, which I found to be amazing. And of course, our little skull of Yorick. Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him well. <clears throat> King Lear for our death card. Prospero is Tempest, which is perfect in my opinion. I love... Um, the character of Prospero. He is he is mo one of the most underrated Shakespearean characters, in my opinion. Puck as the devil, <laughs> which is very fitting, from A Midsummer Night's Dream. The Tower. Cleopatra as the star, from Julius Caesar. The Moon, which is our three witches. The sun. Judgment. The world, which is the globe theater, which is just perfect in my opinion. Um, <laughs> and then we get into our miners. <clears throat> and all of the miners are a pip style in the sense, uh, you know, in the tradition of Tarot de Marseille. But the really cool thing is, is each of the miners has a quote from uh, a play. So for on our, for our Ace of Wands or Scepters, which they are called in this deck, uh, the quote is, be not afraid of greatness. And um, that's from Twelfth Night. Um, and each one has one of these little banners that has a quote, which I, flipping love like i that is the coolest thing about this deck and when i saw that i was like i have to have this <laughs> um so yeah that's our our ace our two is a say the power you have from measure for measure our three is uh to that own self be true from hamlet four is delays have dangerous ends um from henry henry the seventh part or sorry henry the sixth part one and so, as you can see, a lot of these quotes have, um, they do have some divinatory nods towards the card that they're on, which I think is really great. You know, um, the six is all's done, all's one from Henry the Fourth, part one. Seven. And I'm not going to read them all just because it would take forever. 
um, eight, all things be ready if your um, minds be so, from Henry V. Lots of history plays in this in the suit. Have patience and endure. Much ado about nothing. On the nine, and the ten is our oppression exceeds what we expect. Antony and Cleopatra. Um, lady. So the the courts are go back to characters, which I think is really wonderful. So um, each of the court cards again is a character from uh, one of the plays. So Richard Plantagenet, Catherine of Aragon, Philip the Bastard. And then <clears throat> the swords suit has been replaced by quills, which is very, very fitting. Um, action is eloquence. Is the quote on our ace. Of course, we have the ever popular to be or not to be. That is the question, whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, which, you know, it could go on and on, <laughs> um, from Hamlet. Then we have uh, Give Sorrow Words from Macbeth on the three. Make not your thoughts your prisons into Cleopatra um, so yeah I mean as you can see they've they're all all the quotes are really meaningful which I think is really awesome um, the seven is words before blows from Julius Caesar so yeah it's just it's they're really wonderful you can tell that they're all handmade which is really great um, where, where care lodges, sleep will never lie. Romeo and Juliet. Our doubts be our traitors, measure for measure. And then again, we get more characters in the court. So the lady is Viola. The lord is Armando. Our queen is Beatrice. And our king is Richard II and Henry of Wallenberg. And then we have cups, which is very traditional. And I love that the cups, the way the cups are drawn are very <laughs> sort of reminiscent to um, very classic decks like the Visconti Forza, um, which is really just, it's a great <laughs> touch. Um, so our ace of cups is you are a lover, um, borrow Cupid's wings, Romeo and Juliet. So yeah, they're, I mean, they're just wonderful. Ask. Um, ask we what you will, I will grant it, um, from as you like it. So again, they're all very pippish, um, so if you're not, if you are strictly a Rider White Smith reader, this might be difficult for you, um, but again, the quotes give you a nice little hint. Oh, beware, my lord of jealousy, Othello. Our six of cups is, oh, woe is me <clears throat> to have seen what I have seen, see what I see, Hamlet. Uh, the seven, come, let's have one other uh, gaudy night, <laughs> Anthony and Cleopatra. The course of time, uh, sorry, the course of true love never did uh, run smooth amid some night's dream. Love comforteth like sunshine after rain, Venus and Adonis, which is a great play, not often taught in school. If you didn't read this one in school, check it out. So yeah, if mine be the food of uh, love, play on. Oh, or sorry, if music be the food of love, play on. Uh, Twelfth night. Goodness, I can't read today. Um, Lord of Chalices, or sorry, Lady of Chalices, Rosalind. <laughs> Lord of Chalices is Valentine. Uh, Queen of Chalices is Hermione, and King of Chalices is Antony. Um, and then we get on to our coins. So our Ace of Coins is Live Rich and Happy. Um, so yeah, it's just, they're, they're, they're so well done and thought out. Profits will accrue. Henry V. 
gold that's put um, to use, more gold, uh, gold that's put to use, more gold begets. Venus and Adonis. I greatly fear my uh, money is not safe. Comedy of errors. Neither a borrower nor a lender be for our six of coins from Hamlet. Perfect, right? Oops, grab two. Seven, and then eight. Um, how poor they are that they have not patience from Othello, which Othello was the show that I saw when I was in the UK and uh, went to the Globe, which is a, a historical reconstruction of what the Globe was. And they put on uh, Shakespearean plays there. And Othello is what um, I got to see. And I stood as a groundling right in front of the stage. And it was probably the most moving, amazing theatrical experience of my life. Because in the middle of the play, it like dumped rain. And we were soaking wet. And it was amazing. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we're on nine of coins. So my bounty is as boundless as the sea. Romeo and Juliet. And ten of coins, no legacy, is so rich as honesty. Um, all is well that ends well. And then our court. So, our lady, our lord, who's Falstaff, which is just perfect. Um, <clears throat> our queen. And our king, who's Shylock. Again, perfect, right? So, that is the Shakespeare Oracle. So, if you are a fan of... <clears throat> Shakespeare um, I would definitely check this out like the backs are just they're so wonderful this this whole deck is just amazing um, and I want to use it more so I hope you enjoyed this I hope um, <clears throat> that you guys uh, are enjoying my walkthroughs and my Sunday live streams and all that so if you do enjoy it, you know, be sure to leave a comment in the description uh, or in the comments below. Um, as always, I will put information on this deck um, in the description below. And um, if you have not heard, I have recently opened my website. So you can book personal readings on there and sign up for my newsletter. Check out my blog, interact with me over there. Um, and the link to that will also be in the description below. Um, so check that out. And if you are around this Saturday, I will be being interviewed over on the Hermit's Cave. So um, if you're not familiar with Simon's channel, be sure to um, give that a YouTube search, The Hermit's Cave. He has a wonderful channel, so check him out. Um, and come hang out with us on Saturday morning at um, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for um, an interview. So yeah, as always, I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all your love and support. Um, and remember, everyone's fighting a battle that you know nothing about. So be kind, always. Bye guys.